Hello fellow portrait photographers, retouchers, and editors. Another day, another video, and another portrait editing tool for review. Introducing Beautify Panel, a Photoshop extension panel that's designed for portrait photographers and professional beauty retouchers. Is this the ultimate one program to rule them all? Join me as we explore this powerful tool. Let's go! Beautify is a Photoshop extension panel designed and developed by professional photographers. A powerful and versatile photo editing tool, perfect for both advanced users and beginners. From portrait photographers, design experts, graphic designers, with its easy to use interface, anyone can benefit from its advanced features in just a few clicks and exponentially speed up their workflow. In summary, Beautify is a collection of portrait editing Photoshop actions which are grouped into a single panel. When you click on a function, it creates a layer with a mask, then you just start brushing to reveal or hide the effect. In today's video, we'll use a photo from Alexander Vinogradov. Link to his Instagram is on the video description. Go ahead and check out his page and follow him. I think this portrait will be a very good example to test out what this Photoshop panel can do. Alright, let's open up the image in Photoshop. Okay, so we're here in the Camera Raw window, and now we will click on Auto Exposure. Alright, not bad. Now we will set the white balance by selecting the eyedropper tool above. Then we pick a color that's close to gray. Usually we pick it on the white color of the eyes, but in this case, I'll go with the teeth. As you can see, there's a very obvious shift in colors. And now we're ready to open the image. Next is we duplicate the layer by clicking Ctrl J. Let's rename this layer to Spot Healing because it's the next step that we will do. So we pick up the Spot Healing Brush tool and start to remove the blemishes. I will speed this up because this could take a while. Let's duplicate this layer so we can have a backup when we use the Beautify panel. And let's rename it Skin Retouching. And now we open the Beautify panel right over here. As you can see, the panel is quite overwhelming. There are a lot of tools and functions to choose from. We'll just go through a few of them and see what we come up with for the final image. Let's see what this button next to the skin texture can do. So it's doing its thing. As you can see here on the layers panel on the right, it created a new layer with a mask. So this means we can select the brush tool Set the brush color to white and start brushing the face and let's see what happens. I'll use a red overlay by clicking the backslash key. Now let's hide the red overlay, change the brush color to black, then paint on the eyebrows, eyes, nose, and lips. Alright, so here's the before, after. Wow, it did a pretty good job, huh? Okay, now let's try another button. Let's click on the skin blur and see what it does. Okay guys, listen up. Here's a bonus tip. Instead of brushing each time when a new layer is created, you can just copy the mask from the previous brushing you just made. Just press and hold the Alt key, and then left click on the mask, then drag it to the layer that you want to duplicate the mask. Like so. Then just click yes to replace the layer mask and BAM! So it's that easy. You don't actually need to paint every time. Well, actually, it depends on the image and what look you're going for, but for this case, it's alright. Now, here's the image with only the skin blur and no skin retouching. Which one looks better? I think on this image, we can apply both the skin blur and skin retouching together. Okay, let's try one more effect, which is the infamous frequency separation. Alright, so it's asking me to change the amount of blur, but let's just leave it to default and click OK. So now it's telling us to brush on the layer to apply the effect and change the opacity if needed. And again, I don't want to do some brushing so let's just copy and duplicate the mask to the layer above. And that's it! We've applied three different effects to this image. How does it look? This is without frequency separation. This is with frequency separation. 
Let's zoom out and let me show you each of the effects that we applied. This is the original image. This is with skin texture effect. Now this is skin texture effect with skin blur. And now all together with frequency separation. Let me just do some minor adjustments and tweak it to my liking by decreasing the opacity of each effect. Let's zoom in so we can see it better. Then I will group all three effects together. Select the three layers and click on Ctrl G. Let's rename this layer to Beautify Panel. So this is the original photo, and this is with the Beautify Panel effects. Let's zoom out and have another look. This is before, after. Okay, so wow, I'm really impressed with this panel. Let's now navigate to the other parts of the panel. We'll go here under makeup. There's a set of makeup brushes here and honestly, I don't know what they're used for. Let's click on the eyelashes button and see what it does. Looks like it added some contrast to the eyelashes. This is the before. This is after. Next is the eyeshadow. Let me apply a quick and rough job just to see the effect. So this is the before, after. We now go to the eyeliner. I really don't know what I'm doing here, but let's just give it a try. Here we go, before, after. Let's now add mascara. And we'll brush over the top and bottom eyelashes. Okay guys, please bear with me here. I'm really not used to doing makeup, both literally and virtually. Okay, so another before and after. Now let's select Fard, which I don't even know what it means. I think it's giving a subtle glow to the face and making it fresh and bright. And then finally, let's add lipstick. Let's fast forward and skip to the end because this video is getting longer. So here's the before, after. Let's group the skin retouching and makeup effects all together and see the final image. This is the original image. And this is with all the beautify panel effects. What do you think? I know I messed up on the makeup part but you get the idea. And that wraps up this video on beautify panel. It's quite an impressive tool and I like the output. If you're a professional and very meticulous about high-end face retouching, I highly recommend this product for you. Using this panel requires more time and precision, unlike the other one-click retouching effects of the other softwares that I've featured on my previous videos. And there are still a lot of effects that I have not tried in this Beautify panel. Maybe I'll do a part 2 video. Comment down below if you want to see more about Beautify panel. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Again, I'm Omar Ortiz and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.